I have with me uh, Nat Ayer, who probably could be considered the, the father of public access here in Burlington, Vermont. Is that an accurate term that I could use? Or <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I don't know about father, but... Originator, one of the original originators? Yep, or? Yes. that is true. A founder, a founding member of public access in Burlington, Vermont. How about that? That's, that's not bad. That's not bad? We have a minute and a half left. We do? Yeah. So next week, Nat, we've done this for a week. We've done these live shows. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty good. How do you think we're doing? <laughs> Call 862-3936. I mean, really. And we've got next week. We've got another fun-filled week ahead of us. Is there anything in particular you can think about that we're doing? I'll get the schedule so I can talk about what's going on tonight. Look in my book. George Bush. George Bush is coming, and hopefully we're going to be allowed in to videotape him. We're going to be inside, and we're going to have a crew outside. So um, that may take a, a week or two to put together, but um, when it's done, we'll uh, we'll show it to you. Yeah, that'll be pretty exciting. One thing about. Channel 17, and what we, and again, and again, what we did as we came up through the various public access channels here was that we weren't. I mean, I always thought of myself as a public servant, so I would go around with a camera. I mean, and more than just because I did meetings, which we did, but press conferences, and so the the and the point was to produce a lot so I mean, so I mean I always thought of it as sort of public access with a vengeance usually you can trust what we put on you know I don't know if that's even true but you can trust that we don't distort what is what we are putting on television so I there's mean, no we can't say that what people are what we're taping is the truth, mm -hmm. but at least um, we don't alter the information that we put forth. So you're saying there's no editing? It's sort of like gavel to gavel. There's a lot. Yeah, I mean, a lot. A lot of it is gavel to gavel. Not all of it. I mean, shorter programs and interesting. I mean, things are are edited, but usually not for. Content. I mean, no one sits here and says, "Well, we w we want to make a point, mm -hmm. and the point is blah blah blah." And so we're going to select some quotes from here and from here and from here, and some video pictures that 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 show that, and then and then that's the truth. And then and that's the and that's the truth. Now, of course, we do do that once in a while, but real. I mean, we don't sit there and try to. Manipulate. Manipulate too mm -hmm. much. I mean, yeah. we're mostly honest people here. You think that's true, Rob? <laughs> but in any event, there's quite a bit of um, programming scheduled, election kinds of programming, which is part of what we're supposed to be doing here at Channel 17. So what, what did you do today? I, uh, I did some editing. Oh, I wanted to say... <laughs> The, uh, I still have not done the Winooski update, the municipal update. It's supposed and it's to go about, on tonight. It's supposed to go on tonight at 6 o'clock, and another day has passed, and I have not been able to get to it. Okay. So I'm putting on a the Rock Point Mus Youth Music Festival from a couple of years ago, which will be uh, something different. That's really pleasant to have that music on, I think. Once in a while, I think... It would be nice to have something besides people talking. It's a relief. That's the, that's the only thing about this OA programming is there's a lot of talk. Not a lot of action car Except chases. That's the and... soccer games. I hope people are watching the, the BHS soccer games that Steve Goldberg. You'll never see his name on the program because he's not putting it down, but he videotapes the a lot of games from the undefeated seahorses. My really reason for you, for getting you on this program is because you've done a lot of things in this community 
and also in Nicaragua and maybe some other places that I don't know about. But uh, and I just think that that you, to me, are an inspiration to people who can get involved and do some of the stop laughing, <laughs> some of the kinds of things that you've done, and we need more people like you. See what happens when you edit videotape? It's not like splicing film. Some a lot of people are used to splicing film, but you copy videotape. <clears throat> so there's one videotape player. You stick your source in there. You control it with this machine here, which lets it go backwards and forwards, etc. And you copy it onto a tape in this machine. So there's a there's some titles. Yeah. As I came into the studio, I saw the library with all of these tapes. Yeah. And I, I might have asked this question before. What's the shelf life of a tape? And well, and, and well, is there an effort to move it onto it, DVD? Is it, it's at least nineteen years. And and so how long has CCTV been around? Twenty years? Well, yeah, I mean we're in we're ten, we're in our twentieth year. So some of those tapes might be fading out. How are we going to preserve them? Well, I don't know. I mean, we were just watching. Should we watch something anyway? We'd sure. set this all up. Yeah. At least now we could, I mean, and then we can, you know, we can show this for people to see too. Just but you're, you're avoiding the question, though. Well, <laughs> did this turn off? There's a light there. Um, the, the question is that I don't, we don't know. Here, I'll give you my microphone. Through the camera. Except, um, I don't have anything to say. Except, hi, Zimmy. Okay. So, is there anything else you want to do in terms of wrapping up? Well, rep, I've got uh, two minutes. Real quickly, um, one thing that we would like to know is what people think about titles. Now, I assume. I have a feeling that you all think that the titles, since we've been using a computer, are, um, are a lot better than the old typewritten ones. Um, but do they come often enough in meetings? Do you want them more? We cannot uh, put them under, we can't subtitle, is that what it's called? We can't subtitle where the name comes up underneath a person's face. Um, but. Um, so we have to go with these superimpositions, and um, but it would be real nice to know if we do it enough. Whether you can read them, if they give you enough information, do you want more information? Do you want them bigger? And um, <clears throat> and actually anything about the station, about the channel, we really, um, you know, it's just it's Lauren Glenn up and I up here, and some other people who work with us, but. So it's what we um, have thought we should do, we do, and it'd be nice to know if, uh, if we should do it differently. Yeah, first I want to know, the I want the public to see who makes public access available. Well, everybody does. No, a, well, not everybody. Everybody's a, everybody not. Everybody in the, how many people do you think have, I mean, if I have a camera and I go out and I say, I want to, I want to record you doing this, and they say no, I'm out of luck. I don't have a program. This is a community channel, mm -hmm. and it's it in it it take it takes two. It takes the person with the camera. It takes the person on the other side of the camera mm -hmm. to become to to become involved and to believe that what they talk about and do is worth it, worth for other people to understand. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I was you didn't even. Well, that's right. We've Number three, the importance. I mean, that's what's important is to is that for people to understand each other, and maybe they won't be so quick to drop a bomb. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's a global thing, but I mean, it's all kind of related. And you know, if you if you don't have the time and the availability to listen to people talk about what's important, then people things are just going to happen with no thought. Well, I, I want to thank you very much for coming and um, 
and wish you well, and I'll see you in TV land.